heard him say very clearly, loudly, that this is your heart. Also, he said, this is your week. He said, this is your day. And this is your hour. This is your hour of lifting. No man, no organization, no devil can stop it. In the name of Jesus Christ, before the end of today, which is 12 midnight, that long awaited testimony will reach your hand. No one in this church shall become sick. From today, you shall begin to prosper in the dimension of this commission. Joy unspeakable, full of glory, shall be your portion. In the name of Jesus Christ. That is breaking limits. Shout hallelujah. It is my year of breaking limit. We are, lift, we are going to lift up our voice to pray to thank God for his marvelous help. According to the word of the Lord in the book of Acts chapter 26 verse 22. He saved through by his help having therefore obtained help of God. I continue unto this day. For his mighty hand upon us shall we lift up our hands again. Let us glorify him. Remember, it is not by power. It is not by might. The race is not to the swift, neither the battle to the strong. Lift up your voice. Give him quality thanks tonight for making it possible for you and I to be in his presence. Lord, we thank you. Father, we glorify and we magnify you. There is none like you. Male rote sanda rebo ziakata. Lift up your voice and begin to ask God to speak to you again tonight. Heavenly Father, tonight is my night. Rate sondo riabranda. King of glory. Lord, I am not returning the same way that I've come tonight. I am returning with a perfect touch. I am returning, King of glory, made whole. My dear Jehovah, returning with every of my answer. Lord, I give you thanks. Father, I give you thanks. Lord, I bless your name. Thank you, great and mighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Put those beautiful hands together for Jesus and comfortably take your seat. I count it a great privilege given to me tonight by God and the leadership of the church and our pastor in our midst to bring us a short charge. I am fully persuaded that the same grace at work in him will through me reach to you tonight. I say it will through me reach to you tonight. Are you excited to see this day come to pass? Again say thank you Jesus. Very quickly we shall be looking at the running theme which God's servant began yesterday. The prayer of faith is key to sustaining supernatural church growth. The prayer of faith is key to sustaining supernatural church growth. There are keys and there are keys. We understand from the word of the Lord that the greatest headache of the power of darkness is the growth and the expansion of the church. The growth and the expansion of the church is a concern to the devil. Is a concern because there are many that is under the captivities of the devil that the devil will not let go. So when the church is growing, the devil is concerned. But the good news is that the Bible made us to understand that we are the light. We are what we are, the light of the world. The primary assignment of light is to destroy darkness. Light has no value without darkness. The glory of light is darkness. And that is who you are. That is who you and I are. Praise the Lord. In the book of Matthew chapter 5 from verse 13 and 14, God made it clearly. He said we are the salt of the world. We are to give the world tests. He went further in verse 14 to say that we are the light of the world. We are the light. Praise the Lord. 
So the truth of the matter is the devil is concerned. The devil is so much concerned, is afraid of you and I. That is why we have come again in this mountain of spiritual renewal to generate spiritual authority to subdue every plan that the enemy has for the world today. That is why this, this fasting is ordained. To so that our light will do more, we break forth the more. Is this not the fast I have chosen? In the book of Isaiah chapter 58 from verse 6 to 8. This is the fast among the reason why the fast is chosen. So that our light will break forth. So that the darkness cannot have dominion over you. Because the light shineth in the darkness. And the darkness comprehended it not. John chapter 1 verse 5. Light shineth in the dark and the darkness comprehended it not. That is why the prayer. So tonight we are going to like I say the prayer. The, the topic for tonight is that the prayer of faith is the master key. Is the key to sustaining supernatural church growth. It takes the prayer of faith to move the hand of God in any issue of life. God's hand is not moved until a prayer of faith is prayed. It is not enough to pray without mixing your prayer with faith. The Bible again in the book of Isaiah chapter 53 verse 1 who had believed our report and to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed. So in other words, if you turn it around, you will discover that the only one that the God of, that received the revelation of the word is those who believe. Only those that believe the world are the one that they receive the revelation of the word. And that is what you will be returning back with tonight in the name of Jesus. We also understand that whatever that cannot stop the church from praying, will never stop the church from growing. A praying church is a growing church. A praying church is a growing church. And please understand me. When we talk about the church, we're not talking about the chairs. We're not talking about the pillars. I'm talking about you and I. The chair doesn't grow. Praise the Lord. Hmm? Am I speaking? The, the chairs does not grow. The pillars does not grow. You and I, when we talk about the church, is talking about you and I. God said, I will build my church and the gate of hell will not prevail. I will build my church and the gate of hell shall not prevail over it. I don't know what has been standing against your destiny. I don't know the, the, what that has been slowing you down. I decree that from today you will be breaking forth on every side. I said you will be breaking forth on every side. What is faith? Faith simply talks about our capacity to receive and believe. Our capacity to receive and believe what God is saying. Very simple. Very simple. Our ability to receive and believe what God is saying. He said, be it to me. According to your word. Be it to me according to your word. So the wall between your prayer and answer is what? Your belief. The wall between, the distance between the time you pray and when you receive answer is what? Your belief. Because faith is now. Faith is a non-negotiable requirement for breaking limits. Faith is a non-negotiable requirement for supernatural church growth. It is not a cry that counts in our prayer. There are so many people that we cry aloud. We want everybody to hear our cry. But I will tell you the truth, it doesn't count. It, you know, the prayer, the faith content of our prayer is what counts. The faith content. In the book, there is an account in the book of Luke chapter 18. I read from verse 1 saying, What will thou? The Bible talks about some groups, some, 
some friends, some people, some blind foes that came to Jesus. And Jesus asked them saying, what will thou that I shall do to you? And he said, Lord, that I may receive my sight. And Jesus said to him, receive your sight. Your faith had saved thee. Your faith has made thee whole. When your faith say yes, God cannot say no. Praise the Lord. When your faith is in place, God cannot reject it. What will thou that I may do for you? Say that I may receive my sight. And in verse 43, and the Bible says, immediately he received his sight. And the following, start following God, glorifying God. And all the people, when they saw it, they start giving praise and glory to God. Our cry does not count in prayer. Our crying does not move God. It is our cry of faith that counts. Your tears cannot move God. The only force that moves God is your faith. Why? Because everything in this kingdom works by faith. Everything. Everything. And I mean everything. The Bible speaking in the book of Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6. It says, but without faith, it is impossible to please God. For he that cometh to God must first of all believe that he is. And again, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. It begins with you believing that God is able to answer your prayer. Praise the Lord. I say praise Master Jesus. Somebody came to me some times ago for prayer. And he said to me, Pastor, I have done everything. I have done what? I have done everything and nothing is working. And I told him that it, that is impossible. It is not possible for you to do everything and nothing is working. It is impossible for you to do everything and something and, no, and nothing is working. God is a faithful God. God is no respecter of persons. You can't do everything and nothing is working. It means that something is missing. So it is praying faith, deliberate prayer. And not faith assumed prayer. We don't have to assume. Praise the Lord. Don't assume you have done everything. No. If you have done everything, it will show. If you have done what is required automatically by the law of nature and by the covenant it will show. Why? Because you can't fail with the truth. You cannot fail with truth. In every examination, it is only those that have the truth that does what they pass. Faith is not to be assumed. Faith is to be developed. Faith is not a dormant force. Faith is an active force. That delivers instanta. Praise Master Jesus. The Bible in the book of Matthew chapter 9 and verse 27. And when Jesus departed hence. Two blind men followed him crying and saying. Thou son of David have mercy on us. And verse 28. And when he was coming to the house. The blind men came also to him. And Jesus said to them. Believe ye that I am able to do this. And they said to him. Yes Lord. And in verse 29. Then he touched their eyes, saying, According to your faith, be it unto you. According to your faith. And their eyes were opened, and Jesus strictly charged them. According to your faith. Everything about your life is up to your faith. I said everything about your life is according to your faith. Everything about your life is up to your faith. That is why tonight I am fully persuaded that, that you are not returning the same way you have come tonight. I say you are not returning the same way you have come tonight. In the book of James chapter 1 and verse 6, but let him ask in faith, not wavering. Let him ask. In our prayer items, we must attach it with faith. It, we must attach it. You cannot break limit with a shaky faith. Praise the Lord. When your faith is shaken in this passage, he said, but let him ask in faith, not wavering. For he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea, driven with the wind and toast. For let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. 
a double-minded man in, in verse 8. The, the book of James chapter 1 verse 6 to 8 verse 8. He said a double-minded man is unstable in all his way. So you can't break limit with a shaky faith. Shall this be? Shall it not be? Praise the Lord. When your faith is unshakable, you cannot break limit. And that is the reason why so many people have been at the same position. Because our mind, our faith is not yet built up. Faith that works never say never. It never say never. Because faith is above all. Above all your fears. Above everything that is sitting on your destiny, the Bible made us to understand that faith is above. With this understanding, I would like us to rise up again. Let us rise up as we begin to glorify the king of the king that has made it possible for us to stand before his presence tonight. My Red Jehovah, king of glory. Lord, we give you thanks. We give you thanks. We give you thanks. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Tonight, I want to give opportunity to someone here. You are here. You have not met Jesus, your personal Lord and Savior. Why not? In this season, you, are, you can make it right with, with, with God. The journey of faith, faith right on a pure conscience. If you have not met Jesus, your personal Lord and Savior, it will be difficult for you to grow in faith. So, you are here. You have not received Christ. Please quickly come forward. If you have not received Christ or perhaps you are once born again, but because of our fear of the life, things changed. So, and you want to rededicate your life to Christ, why not? Quickly come forward. Quickly come forward. If you are coming, church, are you clapping for Jesus? If you are coming, please come forward quickly. Come forward quickly. Come forward quickly. Tonight is your night. Tonight is your night. Put your hands together for Jesus. One more time, say thank you, Jesus. I believe somebody is still clapping for the Lord for that word that came tonight. Your faith will not fail. I say your faith will not fail. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please let's take our seat very briefly. Every issue we are facing in life is a faith based issue. The major thing the enemy is targeting in our life is faith. And that's why we have to consciously build it up. And how does faith come? Faith comes by hearing. Romans 10, 17. And hearing by the word of God. So it's not just one hearing. It's a constant hearing. You keep hearing, keep hearing until faith is built up. And that's what we come to do in church every day. You keep hearing, you keep hearing, you keep hearing, you keep hearing until your faith is strong enough to pull down that barrier that is withstanding your advancement. There's a story in the Bible I like us to see tonight. The Shunammite woman, this woman did not have child for so long and came in contact with the prophet of God, Elisha. And Elisha declared that this time next year you are going to have a son. And truly, the son came. But after some time, we are told that the child died. <laughs> the child died. Not that he slept. The Bible said the child died. And the woman said, I need to go and see the prophet of God. And as she was approaching, something happened. In the second Kings, chapter Four, verse 17, let's read. And the woman conceived and bare a son at that season that Elisha has said unto her according to the time of life. And when she was grown, it fell on a day that he went out to his father, to the reapers. And he said unto his father, my head, my head. And he said to a lad, carry him to his mother. And when he had taken him and brought him to his mother, he sat on her knees to know and then died. Is that in your Bible? <laughs> and she went up and laid him on the bed of the man of God and shut the door upon him and went out. And she called unto her husband and said, Send me, I pray thee, one of the young men. 
and one of the asses, that I may run to the man of God and come again. And he said, Wherefore we thou go to him today? It is neither new moon or Sabbath. And she said, It shall be well. Then she saddled an ass and said to her servant, Drive and go forward. Slack not thy riding for me, except I bid thee. So she went and came unto the man of God to Mount Carmel, and it came to pass. When the man of God saw her afar off, that he said to Gehazi his servant, Behold, yonder is that Shunammite. Run now, I pray thee, to meet her, and say unto her, Is it well with thee? Is it well with thy husband? Is it well with thy child? And she answered and said, What? It is. See faith at work. Now, I'd like you to understand one thing. The child has died. She never mentioned it to the husband. And the husband even asked, it is not time for you to go and see the man of God. How come you are going now? He said, no, it, is, it shall be well. Faith never speaks the negative. The situation notwithstanding. All this one you are saying, I don't have a job. That's why you don't have one. You, you must never say what you are going through. You must say what you want to see. It shall be well. Now, the, the Bible said the child is dead. He didn't tell the husband. He didn't tell the servant. She never mentioned it to anybody. Even when she was approaching the prophet's house, the prophet sent the servant, asked this woman, is it well with your husband? Is it well with you? Is it well with thy child? And she said, it is well. Faith sees what others don't see. And when she came to the man of God to the hill, verse 27, she caught him by the feet, but Gehazi came near to thrust her away. And the man of God said, let her alone, for her soul is vexed within her. And the Lord has hid it from me and had not told me. Then she said, did I desire a son of my Lord? Did I not say, do not deceive me? Then he said to Gehazi, guide of thy loins, take my staff in thy hand, go thy way. If thou meet any man, salute him not. And if any man salute thee, answer him not again. And lay my staff upon the face of the child. And the mother of the child said, As the Lord liveth, and as thy soul liveth, I will not leave thee. And he arose and followed her. Faith is very dogged. It does not take no for an answer. Until the desired result is generated. And Gehazi passed on, verse 31, before them, and laid the staff upon the face of the child, but there was neither voice nor hearing. Wherefore, he went again to meet him and told him, saying, The child is not awake. And when Elisha was come into the house, behold, the child was dead and laid upon his bed. He went in therefore up and shut the door upon them to him and prayed unto the Lord. And he went up, lay upon the child, put his mouth upon his mouth, his eyes upon his eyes, his hands upon his hands, and stretched himself upon the child, and the flesh of the child waxed warm. Then he returned and walked in the house, toe and fro, went up, stretched himself upon him, and the child sneezed seven times, and the child opened his eyes. And he called Gehazi and said, Call this Shunammite. So he called her, and when she was come in unto him, he said, take up thy son. Praise the name of the Lord. Let me tell you, that child would never have woken up if the mother's faith has failed. Her faith is what brought this child alive. She said, I will not leave thee as the Lord liveth. <laughs> I am not leaving you until something happens. You are the one that prophesied that this child should come. Now the child came. Now he died again. Ah, uh ah. -uh. Man of God, prophesy now. Prophesy again. <laughs> Her faith was dark. I am not going back. The same way your faith must be built up. Hear me? This is your year. Yeah. Don't allow anything, anybody to deceive you, sir. Yeah. Faith is a dominant force as we have been told tonight. And that's why you must rise up tonight. Tonight is my night. Everything God has said to you must come to pass. Nothing will stop it. You are breaking limits this year. Rise up on your feet this hour and pray violently. This is my year. 
I am taking what belongs to me this year. I will not see shame this year. Lord, this ninth day of prayer and fasting, everything I have called for, let it begin to show right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Whatever I have prayed for, one after the other, let it begin to show up. Let it begin to show up. Let it begin to show up. In the name of Jesus Christ. This is a faith-based ministry. I have come tonight to take delivery of what belongs to me in destiny. No more going back the same way. I'm not taking no for an answer. My miracle job is coming forth. My healing is now. My fruitfulness is now. Every good that is due to me is now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Rababa rekete antayaba lege boza gaba. Rababa rebo shikete andarara. Tonight is my night. Tonight is my night. Father, we give you all the glory. We give you all the praise. Blessed be your name. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed.